Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Stan, and if you guys are like me and you're running Windows 10, you've probably been beginning to see Microsoft's dropping hints on you to upgrade to the brand new Windows 11, either in Windows update notifications or a pop-up saying, hey, your computer is now compatible with Windows 11. Let's go ahead and download and upgrade. More likely than not, you're not ready to make the jump or you're kind of waiting to see how software compatibility pans out for Windows 11. And Microsoft did say that they wanted people off of Windows 10 moving to 11 faster than the transition from 7 and 8 to Windows 10. So we all know that these notifications and the recommended upgrade is going to only ramp up and to prevent accidental upgrades there is a little trick that you can do to disable these notifications and I'm going to show you how. Now if you're wondering do I even need to do anything about this Windows 11 upgrade thing? Do, is my computer even compatible? Go ahead and go to the start menu and type in Windows Update and you can pop open the Windows Update uh, window and you can see for yourself to see if your system is compatible. If your system is not compatible with Windows 11, then you don't have to do anything. You can click off this video and never w worry about Windows 11 again. But if your system does say that, hey, congratulations, you can download Windows 11 right now and update, then continue watching because we're gonna make it so that the system is not compatible with Windows 11. One of the requirements for Windows 11 is the TPM 2.0 module. And if it's the first time you've heard of TPM, it stands for Trusted Module Platform. Uh, and it's the 2.0 version. What we're gonna do is go ahead and disable this in the BIOS. And uh, let me show you real quick how you do that on my Asus Crosshair uh, a extreme motherboard. Getting to the BIOS menu is usually hitting delete in the boot sequence and as you can see this is the ASUS uh, BIOS. Every manufacturer's BIOS is a little bit different so if you have a specific motherboard you can go ahead and double check how to get to your BIOS and how to get to your TPM module with that uh, manufacturer. Now again this is ASUS so I'll show you here real quick how to do it. If you go over to advanced and uh, you'll see at the very top there is a trusted computing mod trusted computing right here so what we'll do is go into here and then the security device support all you need to do is just go ahead and disable this save and exit and basically that's it now once you make that change and save exit and reboot and get back into windows uh, what you'll notice if you go right back to Windows Update again is more likely than not the Windows Update hasn't realized that it doesn't have the TPM module anymore so it'll still tell you that yeah you can upgrade to Windows 11 but give it a little bit of time uh, either a couple of resets or a day or so and Windows 11 will the update will realize oh shoot the TPM 2.0 module is no longer there and then it'll spit out the error that oh your computer is no longer compatible with Windows 11. So uh, it'll never bother you to upgrade the, to Windows 11 again, basically. Now, if you are ready to upgrade, uh, all you need to do is go back into your BIOS and just re-enable the TPM 2.0 module and everything is good to go. Uh, again, it'll take Windows Update a little bit of time to realize that that has changed and uh, once it does, eventually, you can upgrade. One last thing I want to touch upon before ending this video is what is the TPM 2.0 module and what features require it. So if you're on a laptop, you're probably more likely to be using this module. It's actually a hardware security chip on the motherboard and it is required for features such as Windows Hello, the fingerprint scanner or the face recognition auto login or BitLocker, if you use that, that also relies on the TPM 2.0 chip. However, if you've built your own computer, more likely than not, you're not using Windows Hello to log in. You're not using, you don't have a webcam or you don't have a fingerprint scanner and more likely than not, you're not using 
bit locker. So if that's the case, then you can go ahead and, and disable it and you're not, since you're not using any of the features. However, if you are on a laptop, for example, laptops generally have those kind of things built in, the webcam or the scanner or uh, BitLocker, if that's, you know, you're really concerned about security, then you're gonna have to weigh the pros and cons of having the TPM module or and having the features or not having it and uh, being you know, bugged about Windows 11 upgrade. So uh, just something to be aware about. Anyway, hopefully that helps you guys out. Uh, I, again, I'm not actually totally against Windows 11. In fact, I have actually upgraded to Windows 11 uh, a couple of weeks ago and played around with it, but I found that there, there was a few things that just wasn't smooth with the applications I was running. So I'm gonna be waiting a little bit longer, perhaps into 2022 before I actually make that upgrade. And I just don't wanna, just didn't wanna have that notification or accidentally shut down the computer and realize the next morning, oh, the computer has already automatically upgraded to Windows 11. You know, sometimes I remember that has happened in the past with Windows 10. Microsoft did do some kind of force update or, you know, shut down now and, and, and update trickery that makes you automatically upgrade it. Hopefully Microsoft doesn't do that with Windows 11, but then again, they said that they really wanted people off of Windows 10 relatively quickly. So I wouldn't put it past Microsoft to do something like that again with this whole thing. So with that, you'll never be bothered about Windows 11 again. Anyway, if this video was useful for you guys, make sure to hit that like button. It really helps the channel out and it really doesn't cost you anything. As always, my name is Stan and I'll see you guys in the next one.